ഹലോ എവറി വൺ ദിസ് ഇസ് ഡോക്ടർ ചന്ദ്രലേഖ ഗർഭസംസ്കാര കോച്ച് ഫൗണ്ടർ ഓഫ് മാതൃദേവോഭവ ഇൻ ആർ പ്രീവിയസ് വീഡിയോ യു ഹാഡ് ലേൺ അബൌട്ട് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഗർഭസംസ്കാര ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് പ്രഗ്നൻസി സോ ടുഡേ യു ലേൺ അബൌട്ട് ദ ഫൈവ് മോസ്റ്റ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഗൈഡ്ലൈൻസ് ഫോർ പ്രീ കൺസെപ്ഷൻ പീരിയഡ് നൗ ലെറ്റ്സ് ഗെറ്റ് ഇൻ ടു ദ വീഡിയോ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് മോസ്റ്റ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഗൈഡ്ലൈൻസ് ഇസ് ടു ഹാവ് എ പ്രീ പ്രഗ്നൻസി കൗൺസിലിംഗ് വിത്ത് യുവർ ഡോക്ടർ ദിസ് ഇസ് വെരി എസെൻഷ്യൽ to understand your present health status or to understand what should be followed what should be not followed etc and when should you go to your doctor is minimum 1 year prior to your pregnancy or if not at least 1 year 3 months prior to your pregnancy because uh, you, this will make you to get ready for your pregnancy both physically mentally and also financially number 2 eat a balanced diet especially it is very important to maintain a balanced diet in your preconception period because deficiency of certain vitamins or minerals during this time can make some irreversible changes in yourself and also your baby that is why we suggest all the preconception women who are planning for pregnancy to have minimum 400 mg of folic acid at least 3 months prior to their pregnancy because Uh, the time you know that you are pregnant by the time all the organs of your baby are formed so to prevent any neural tube defects and other problems in your baby it is very essential to take care of your diet and also your lifestyle in prior and also uh, check whether you are all the vitamins like uh, it could be your folic acid iron uh, calcium vitamin b12 vitamin a or vitamin d are sufficient because even deficiency could be supplemented at this time so if you are entering your pregnancy with many deficiencies it can have some negative influence on your baby as well the third most important guidelines is to maintain a healthy weight it is very essential to attain normal bmi before attempting for pregnancy if your bmi is less than 18.5 you are in underweight if you are in between 18.5 to 24.9 you are in healthy weight if it is more than 24.9 till 30 then it is overweight and 30 to 34.9 is grade 1 35 to 39.9 is grade 2 and anything above 40 is grade 3 so check your bmi first before you conceive so that you can come to normal weight and then attempt for pregnancy the reproductive risk of obesity include infertility miscarriage preterm birth gestational hypertension gestational diabetes thromboembolism etc and there are also some non reproductive related uh, issues with obesity for example it could be like heart disease arthritis high cholesterol or it could be like hypertension diabetes etc pregnant women with low bmi are also at high risk of having small for age gestational fetus or even low birth weights so this is the importance of having right bmi especially in pre conception because this can make sure to prevent all the complications of either it could be reproductive problems or non reproductive problems or any other issues also the fourth important guidelines is start your physical activity and exercise daily so it is very essential to have some physical activity at least for 30 minutes a day it could be moderate exercise also could be yoga walking dance anything it is but start your physical activity right away regular physical activity improves your cardiovascular health reduces your obesity and also associated risk factors your obesity the fifth important guidelines is review of current medication it is important to discuss with your doctor about all the prescription and non prescription based medications and try to avoid all self prescription based medications because it can affect your health and also your baby's health in prior the review also should include all nutrition supplements and herbal products which you are consuming and you may consider that to be not medication but still that can interfere with your preconception now let's recollect all the five important guidelines that we have discussed in this video first best time for pre pregnancy counseling second eat a balanced diet third maintain your healthy weight fourth start your exercise and physical activity fifth review of current medication these are the top 5 guidelines that you have learned in this video about pre conception 
In my part 2 video of this, you will learn another 5 important preconception guidelines. If you like the content, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel Dr. Chandralekha MS.